All right, uh, hello all, and welcome back. This is part five of uh, your own Arch Linux custom spin, and hopefully the last part. <laughs> uh, and to address the PackBang ISO and how you can incorporate it into your own installer. And of course, it's written by Carl Duff, who is, uh, also makes PackBang ISO and the Architect Linux. So, I would suggest uh, either you can um, create your own account and you can just uh, hit this fork if you wish or just download the zip file and save it say in your downloads folder and then uh, extract so let's go to our uh, my file manager downloads all we need out of here is the abif dash master extract that and make sure everything's intact and uh, icons by name. There we go. Open this with LeapPad. This is what we want here to change uh, to our um, inst installation. So uh, go back and open a terminal inside the downloads directory or wherever you put that. And we're going to have to copy it to our live CD uh, or whatever you called it, your directory. So um, right here into the air root FS at the beginning here all right so sudo oops yeah we're in that I'll make sure to go back to download so you have a visual sudo uh, cp dash r a b i f dash master the whole thing slash home your username whatever you're called your live cd a i root f s and we'll close that out and there it is okay and there's something wrong with this isn't there it doesn't look right all right uh, I'm not sure what happened there uh, so just uh, open terminal inside this directory and just do sudo uh, whatever your file manager is you're in root mode you get a warning but um, just right click on it and select properties permission and it should be read only apply recursively I hope yeah that's fine and same thing for others and close this out there we go that looks better okay so um, we're gonna have to edit that file so sudo leafpad AI root FS ABIF ABIF uh, the installer Okay, uh, most important things are is what the name of your host is. I call it Spice ISO. Okay, uh, your user, I called it uh, Live User. And instead of uh, PackBang, just put Spice, whatever you want to call it, whatever your name of your ISO is. So that should help with that. Um, a few other things you might not need, uh, and it's a lot of uh, searching through. But first thing I do is uh, we'll save that. Uh, find clean uh, the word clean. Okay, F3, and you'll probably want to remove uh, some things uh, through uh, your directory. Uh, you notice here it already has it set up for GWL to remove and it's uh, declared uh, temp dot err error log okay some things we don't need uh, in here but it seems to work fine without uh, touching any of this stuff um, and also uh, find the uh, pack bang and keep pressing whatever you use and there you go where it has uh, it's gonna ask you the, the installer asks you to what name you want for your network and if you want to change it to your host name spice where to go spice ISO and let's go back to the top yeah we're just gonna call that spice sorry make sure it matches that's all and I believe uh, I usually take out uh, a line, this line here, this echo 
IP address. I'm not sure that's, uh, it looks like it's commented out. Sorry, Carl, if you're watching this. <laughs> so, our host name, uh, make sure, yeah, Spice, okay. I think it's this echo line. I don't even know if I need the check error. Again, trial and error, okay. So, uh, we'll save that. And let's uh, find that and clean and oops, uh, clean. And again, it's under uh, Display Manager. Uh, it has it has LXDM, which is nothing wrong, but I haven't included it in the ISO. However, if you want, you're going to have to uh, search for LXDM all uh, instances, and if you're using GDM or LightDM or something like that, or none at all. Um, it doesn't really affect the installation um, at all, the installer. Uh, but if you include in Display Manager and it's different than LXDM, uh, you can uh, make the appropriate changes. But the idea here is just to get you going with how you, you incorporate it into your system. So, as I said, the main thing is at the very beginning is the host name and your username. All right, and if you want um, to remove other things, you have to use that as arch ch root command, I believe. Oh dear, let me see. Let me see if uh, ch root. Yeah, arch underscore ch root. You see, there's a ton of them here, and again, it's under the clean section. <laughs> That's why I always search for that. And again, there it is. Here we go. So, arch ch root, and if you want to remove something, so for example, you can make your own custom entry, say, just after the system D or something. I would be very careful uh, with the syntax. Okay, make sure you have the right spacing, uh, two spaces, and say, remove packages that you don't want uh, for example I don't really use uh, the genie text editor so arch ch root all right and we'll copy that paste that in and make sure there's another space here in this part remove packages arch underscore ch root that's the way the the installer works is in quotes pacman dash rns genie in quotes then a space and then uh, the two and then two arrows uh, temp uh, dot err log as you can see here then save i believe it's uh there's another a couple of settings with the uh if you see here um the line here to copy this and remove this Pacman uh, D, which is not, we don't have a Pacman D directory uh, or an SU file. Uh, that's for uh, root, but I'm just going to leave it for now. Okay. And uh, I guess we have to make sure that's executable. So open the terminal here. Just in case plus X A B I F. All right. Now let's close this down here and all right. So let's try it out. Build the uh, build file and we'll have to call it from command, but you can customize a, uh, a desktop entry or something if you want. Uh, but just to make sure it works. As I mentioned in the beginning, it's trial and error. Okay, so I'll be back. Uh, fingers crossed that everything went well. Okay, so here we are, the moment of truth. <laughs> uh, so open a terminal, and it's uh, slash abif, and I'm so sorry, it's sudo, and then abif. Press enter, and we see that it's working so far. Uh, so I'm going to cancel out of that, and... Uh, Control D. Uh, let's make a new, uh, careful with this one. Uh, name um, install 
Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, spice. Command is the command is different. It'll be uh, sudo uh, lx terminal. Oh boy. Dash e uh, slash air. No, a b i f dash master slash a b i f. Obviously, launching terminal, and I don't know if we can find an icon. I think it's uh yeah, it's USR share icons. Uh, Fanza places scalable arch logo. I have no idea of this. Oh, well, I'll install Spice. All right. Uh, would you like to add this launcher to the menu also? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, so there we go. Now let's open this with uh, another uh, leaf pad and see where it's calling. It doesn't. I guess it doesn't really matter because this gets removed anyway. And that's pretty much it. So there we go. So it seems to be working. So let's try it out. Don't forget though, if you if you want to have a custom desktop entry, make sure you copy it over. You have to make a new directory desktop. So prepare installation, set virtual console, and set your keyboard layout, and partition disk. And I totally forgot to install gparted. So we'll have to do it with, uh, let's do automatic partitioning. Okay, good enough. We'll just let it go. And I'm uh, sorry about that. Um, Let's, uh, so where's our root partition? It's going to be the 7.5. And we'll extension 4. And it's kind of handy, but we don't really need it anyway. But uh, just to show you that you can, if you're using a solid state drive, something like no A time or discard, and or discard you can use. So we'll cancel out of that. Mount successful. And I'll just let it go uh, as it is and install base. Install base packages. And hopefully uh, this will um, work. So this will take a couple of minutes at least. Okay, so I just ran the MK init, and I noticed uh, I forgot to put the no confirm flag into removing Genie. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so I just had to press the letter Y, and it just went. So install bootloader. I uh, usually use scrub, and only one device here. And uh, again. Uh, if you're going to use another, if you're going to dual boot, if you're going to make, you know, your arch and you want to install on your system, you have to get uh, OS Prober. So with configure base, uh, FSTAB, if you're not using uh, UEFI, uh, uh, UUID is fine. Uh, host name, there we go. So this is what I was talking about uh, where you changed it. So you can call it anything you want or just leave it, whatever. System locale, uh, the usual drill, and uh, security. I'm just gonna leave. Uh, whoops. Okay, I can do it that way too. Uh, system max use. Uncomment that. And 50 m. I'm not sure if autos. Oh, whatever. Control O to write that out. And control X. I'm just gonna leave the default there. And same thing, disable. Back and review configurations. V console. There we go. Opens up in the Genie editor. Font equals IS, ISO. Oh, I'm so sorry. 0 02 12 by 22. Completely optional. Save. Control S to save. Control Q to quit. Uh, hosts. Let's take a look here. Yeah, just a. Uh, or spice I called the host and I usually like this uh, seems to help with Firefox and save and close okay sudoers uh, sudo sudoers uh, by default it's a percent wheel so it lasts for your password but I usually comment that out here and uncomment the no password 
very simple mkn and f stab and now here's that uh, lxdm we don't have that so you can know that grub um 1024 by 768 but you'll have to update the grub file after installation and take a look at our pacman config there you go as I mentioned earlier, commented out in the Arch Linux uh, repository. Back, done, close installer, yes. Uh, well, the ISO is still in, that's fine. We'll just uh, go to um, boot existing OS. It's the third entry. There we go. So far, so good. And there's no uh, login manager, so you have to do it manually. So whatever you called yourself. Okay, and I forgot to, I'm so sorry, I forgot to remove the uh, auto login feature, but that's okay. It did work. And what's this? Oh, yes, right. So you can just right click and eject. Okay, whatever. It seems to have worked with the custom name, the time zone's correct. So just a quick check uh, disk free space is uh, 2.5 and free um, memory. Uh, it didn't take the swap anyway, so <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. G parted. Uh, I forgot to include that, but you, I think you get the idea. And it's not that hard to actually to configure the installer. Um, just add in what you want. And I did install uh, LXDM, and it took no problem. So to fix the resolution I specified in Grub, you just uh, sudo Grub as you would in. Uh, uh, Vanilla basic Arch Linux installation. sudo grub mkconfig o boot. Nope. Grub grub dot cfg. And I'm not sure there's a keyboard combination, but it doesn't matter. Just restart. And there we are. The screen is larger. I think there's also a command for uh, disabling the mem tester if you don't want to see that all the time. It's no big deal. Okay, so I changed this to uh, from default to cinnamon, but it'll go to software rendering, rendering anyway. But you can see that it, LXDM is working just fine. Okay, you're going to have to make some adjustments and to the to the packages that you include, gparted, OS Prober and customize whatever you want for a uh, login manager. I believe that was it. And unfortunately, I couldn't get this menu uh, to set. Like if you configure it, remember before I uh, had an icon, uh, this wouldn't, um, it didn't save. I'm not sure where it is. So I think that should wrap up this very long series. Uh, this is part five and the last part. Uh, customizing the Arch ISO and using the uh, um, amazing PacBang installer by Carl Duff. And as I said, if I can find anything, any information on uh, the menu uh, settings, it's an applet, so I'm, I'm not sure where everything's going. But um, And if you don't use Cinnamon, then you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so, and one last thing, Alt F2, just like in GNOME and system d power off okay so that's it uh for this one and thank you so much for watching and have a lot of fun let me know how you do with the, all this stuff and i'll try to answer you answer you the best i can so thanks again and we'll talk to you soon and bye for now